you do, but you are subscribe to 60 Dark King, and today we are going to do another episode of Let's Watch. Today is Death Battles, Deadpool vs. Pinkie Pie. Well, I say Squirt Deck lost it, but hey, strange things have happened. <laughs> so, the Square Merit is pure for criticism purposes, and as such, is protected under the laws of fair use. I have no interest in any kind of copyright shenanigans ah, whatsoever. So, that out of the way, I have no idea who's going to win. Uh, let's get the, mad the madness started. <laughs> and play! Before we get into the episode, I wanted to let you know that all our games are on sale for the holidays. That's AVGN Cute. 1 and 2, Disorder, even the all new Super Rad Ray Gun. There's discounts on all available platforms, some up to 80% off. So click the link in the description. There, pick he's up a some free publicity screw attack. Now don't claim us. this. Fiction has a very fragile set of rules. Authors <laughs> should be wary, as one small crack can be enough to smash the boundary and send their stories careening out of control. Are we really doing this? We're really doing this. <laughs> well, here's Deadpool, Marvel's Merc with a Mouse. And Pinkie Pie, Equestria's peppy party pony. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job uh, to analyze the this weapons, is going armor, to be weird. and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Very weird. <laughs> Loneliness, depression, cancer. When you think of the Merc with a Mouth, these are unlikely to be the first things you associate with the assassin <laughs> called Deadpool. Yet, before the red and black suit, these were the ingredients in the life of Wade Wilson. Blah, 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 we've been over this before. How about yes, we just yes, skip we have. the best parts? Hold up, hold up, hold up! <laughs> you just can't skip my amazing origin story like that. I have a movie now, so we have all this crispy new footage to use. For educational purposes, of course. Where's his back? Where's my shotgun? <laughs> just ignore him. In short, Wilson was a mercenary who developed cancer. I had 34 tumors. They were literally everywhere. Damn. Oh, the guys who messed with Wolverine picked him up, injected him with weird healing fluids, and turned him into a rotten testicle. <laughs> hey, that would have been a much better superhero name for you. Whatever you say, <laughs> Captain Bucktooth. You know as well as I do that I'm kind of a big deal, and I've always lived that lit, fresh mercenary life. <laughs> and I even partner up with famous little Wolvie on occasion, like when I worked with the X-Force. Yeah, where's your mute button? I probably left it in the Savage Land after my dinosaur rodeo. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, check it out. I took a selfie. Hashtag no filter. Huh. <laughs> you look at that. Speaking of Wolverine, Deadpool gained a healing factor from those experiments, which easily trumps anything the X-Man can do. He's Damn. strong enough to redirect a rogue helicopter, fights faster than a normal man can react, and is an expert marksman with virtually any weapon he touches. To all my adoring fans out there, <laughs> you know what I'm all about. Swords. I got them. They're made of this nanoceramic fiber sharp enough to cut through Spidey's webs and right through his Damn. franchise. <laughs> Grenades, shurikens, bolas and size, all that good Naruto stuff. I got them on deck, baby. Personal fave, though. Bullets. I spread them like Santa spreads Christmas joy. Are those Heckler and Koshmark 23 pistols? Yeah, but they can be whatever you want them to be, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, you got the magic bag with the elephant. Wait, what are you talking about? What elephant? After gaining his enhanced abilities, Deadpool's life only got stranger. He's gone you on time-traveling adventures with the mutant Cable, joined the Agent X mercenary force, temporarily gained the power cosmic, and even got involved in a love triangle involving death. Oh, that whole debacle? <laughs> okay, so get this. You know the Grim Reaper? Specter of death and all that? Well, turns out she's this sexy hot skeleton, babe. And she totally digs the Deadpool. But our Facebook status is still on It's Complicated because I'd have to die to be with her. And then Thanos shows up to try and take her for himself. He cursed me with immortality so I could never see my boo again. But he later took the curse back because he really wanted to kill me. But he can't because then I'd win. And he knows it. Yeah, and I thought I had issues. <laughs> to be a galactic lord. Pretty good for a Vancouver Canadian, right? 
Deadpool may Damn. be effective as a wise cracking merc, but when he gets serious, he becomes nigh unstoppable as far as super enhanced cancer written assassins go. He's gone toe to toe against Captain America, infiltrated Damn. Doctor Doom's country of Latveria, and defeated a horde of 100 ninjas while talking on the phone. Even if you could dub that fighting <laughs> skill, Deadpool's <laughs> healing factor puts him on a whole nother level. It well, let him die first weird. out of a moving plane, survive the friggin' Chrysler building falling on top of him, strolled right out of nuclear explosions, and even regenerated from being turned into a puddle. Though that same healing factor is also part of Deadpool's biggest weakness. Hey, you dissing me, bub? No, Boomstick <laughs> actually has a pretty good point. Years of immortality has let you get away with being sloppy in your approach, which allows a clever enough opponent to gain an upper hand. <laughs> like this. Hey, what? What? Oh, hey, 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 what's that? What are you doing? <laughs> no! You monsters! <laughs> I won't go the way of Amazing Spider Man! Oh, quit whining. You'll be back. No! <laughs> Okay. Because when could you do that? It's been two years since our last Deadpool episode. I've had plenty of prep time. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed, yes. <laughs> the land of Equestria. Okay, a so. A kingdom full of rolling plains, Let's see this crap. and rainbows. A place where you just can't As you can see, happy. not a fan. Unless you happen to live on a rock farm. The hell's a rock farm? Like a quarry? No, no, no. They literally farm rocks. For these ponies, rocks were their life. They harvested rocks, they sculpted rocks, they played with rocks, they built their homes from rocks, they even ate rocks. Well, one pony on this farm wasn't quite as rock crazy as the rest of her family. Oh no, she's a whole nother level of crazy. <laughs> this is Pinkamina Diane Pie. Just call her Pinky Pie. One day, chipping away in the grueling rock fields as always, Pinky witnessed something that would change her life forever. Colors! The very sight of this unprecedented explosion of color, which originated from Rainbow Dash's first legendary Sonic Rainboom, instantly yeah. brought Pinky the most joy she had ever felt in her life. Brimming with happiness, she wanted to share her newfound jubilation with her grim-faced family. So she stayed up all night organizing a surprise party. It was so off the chain that it made them all smile for the first time. Which was actually quite horrifying. <laughs> That's when Pinky finally realized that her life's mission was meant to bring joy to all. Wait, what's that thing on her butt? Oh, that's a cutie mark. Every pony gets one when they discover their uh, calling in life. Seriously. Oh, I got one of those. After I found out alcohol and guns were my calling, I woke up and found a beer bottle crossed with two shotguns on my left butt cheek. Boomstick, that's a tattoo. You don't remember it because you passed out drunk in the parlor chair. But booze and weapons do define my life, don't they? Well, sure, but... And it's fate. Anyway, now that she <laughs> had something better to do than farm rocks for a living, Pinky left home and ended up in Ponyville. She landed a job in bed at the Sugar Cube Corner Bakery and set off to befriend every single pony in town, usually with a welcoming song and dance. Uh, welcome, 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 a fine welcome to you. The horror. What the? How does it know, Wiz? Uh, I guess now's as good a time as any to mention that Pinkie Pie also sees past the fourth wall. Sorry, right. did I interrupt you guys? No, we were just trying to do a show, but yeah, by all means, tell them about yourself while I go grab a beer. Yeah, <laughs> I can sing, I can dance, I throw the bestest parties, I can- Oh, no, no. The awesome stuff. <laughs> Give them something lethal. What? I never hurt anyone. Well... Plus, it's an evil shape shifting changeling. That's why I never leave home without my party cannon. Usually, this beauty can set up an entire party oh, in a single shot. But when this it comes, I use this bubblegum cupcake batter. It's awesome. my own recipe. Her I tried some bubblegum cupcakes. They're fresh and sticky. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Also, I think one time my party cannon blew up half a building. <laughs> but that totally wasn't my fault. Uh, well, Pinkie Pie's party cannon is child's play compared to her own abilities. Her body seems to have highly elastic properties, allowing her to stretch impossible distances, inflate like a balloon, or more practically, shake off hits powerful enough to send her through walls. Bathtubs are dangerous! On top of all that, her mane can morph into a drill and tunnel through the earth. She's fast enough to keep up with Rainbow Dash, and she can control the very laws of physics! Ugh. <coughs> so, um, do we walk back up the slide, or, or what? <laughs> Even if you think you've got the upper hand, I'm getting a Rainbow Dash versus Starscream. 
The twitching means my pinky sense is telling me that stuff's gonna start falling. Sometimes it's a bunch of random things happening to my body at random times that supposedly predict the future. I call them combos. Her pinky sense is so precise, she can expertly maneuver through a collapsing skyscraper under construction while saving four other ponies. Pinky sense? How about nonsense? None of this is scientifically possible. Sometimes you just have to believe in things, even if you can't figure them out. No, I can't do that. <laughs> Deciphering the impossible is literally what we do here. What the hell's with all these ponies? Are they all like this? Why? Oh, this madness goes even further. Even if you were to somehow damage Pinkie Pie's body, she can just reassemble herself on the spot. And no one can escape her, not even Rainbow Dash. You know, the pony who can fly over 3,800 miles per hour? Yes, we should all be thankful that she uses these powers for good. With the help of her friends, well, Pinkie saves that's the disturbing. world several times. Like when her group went up against a glowy horse powerful enough to move the moon. Pinkie's spastic demeanor might make her seem like a hapless child, but she's actually pretty smart. She knows the names, birthdays, preferences, and locations of every single citizen of Ponyville by memory. She's That's so meticulous she plans things out decades in advance from her secret party planning bat cave. She also frequently alters her own personal gravity without having to affect the world around her. By inexplicably changing physics like this, Pinkie Pie is theoretically capable of well, just about anything. Okay, for a baby pink pony, this belly is actually kind of scary. <laughs> Only way it could get any worse is if there were a whole army of Pinkie Pies. <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> oh, no. I can always use the mirror pool. My Nana Pinkie taught me how to use it to duplicate myself over and over and over and over and over. Pony, no more, no more. <laughs> just go back to Pony. You'll, you'll, you'll be getting a new visitor soon, very soon. Like right now, soon. <gasps> Well, good thing she's easily distracted. She may be some weird ultra-powerful cartoon being, but she's anything but a fighter. What's more, she can be emotionally fragile at times. If her mood turns negative, she loses her will to do the one thing she loves most, spreading happiness to every pony she meets. And like it or not, Pinky will spread happiness to you, no matter how hard you struggle. <laughs> Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I've never been so excited. Well, except for the time that went, <gasps> but I mean... Yeah, All right, the, the horror. The are set. Let's end this debate this once and for all. This is going to be fun. It's time for a death battle! Okay, let's see the crazies. So, it's going to be a 2 to one No surprise there. Hello again, death battle. So, who's the lucky victim? You cannot be serious right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we said. Hi there, I'm Pinkie Pie. I've never seen you before. Are you new? You must be new. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> no, none of that. Shame on you. Lemon squeezy. You wish. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> yeah. Like Ryan Reynolds Senpai once said. Maximum <laughs> effort! You like this? We're going viral! <laughs> wait, 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 whoa. You see those things too? Yeah! Or tiny pink horse. On the count of three, say what your favorite food is. One, two, three, chicken okay, okay. The hex a cherry chonga. It's wonderful. <laughs> Does this mean we're friends now? Uh, best friends. Wanna have some fun? Oh, mercy. 
mercilessly. Oh, Fred. <laughs> Are the guys responsible for sticking us in these battles in the first place? You mean Wiz and Boomstick? Oh no, I'm talking even more meta. I think it's time we had some real fun. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that was the last time I ever made a one. <laughs> you! I finally found you! The idiot with the stupid face, the idiot with the stupid hair, and the <laughs> idiot who writes my jokes because he thinks he's funnier than me. <laughs> well, I mean, I did write that one, so... It's me. I just got one question for you all. Just one. Why, oh why, would you pull me into another one of these battles on my birthday? Come on! Wait a minute! You didn't tell me it was your birthday! I Oh, Chris. What the <laughs> f Well, so much for the death in death battle now, right? Another happy ending! <laughs> <laughs> well, what that happened? happened? Where's the carnage? I wanna cop out. <laughs> I don't... I, I can't... This isn't how it's supposed to be. I mean, I guess it makes sense when you think about it. Weren't you the one who said breaking the rules would careen out of control or whatever? Don't ask me, this wasn't my call. So, who wins? Who loses? Boomster, Draw. I think the loser is us. Fucking pony! <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Chad, I'm Big Boomstick. I'm oh. Bradley Wiz, and thanks from the entire ScrewTech and Death Battle team for watching our show through 2016. Also, quick shout out to our animators, researchers, voice actors, so. and freelancers who have helped us make this awesome season three. And a series. A lot of them. Yeah. And nice. Uh, the wait isn't too long this time because Death Battle returns in February of 2017. And stick to our channel and check out because we're revealing the next matchup in January. And it's one you guys have been asking for for a while. It's going to be awesome. Nice. Thanks, guys. Nice to see who it is. Wait. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, that was fun. <laughs> I mean, oh, this inner series, oh, they're so awesome. Anyway, people, I was not expecting that, and I'm so happy. I mean, I'm red for muffing so much. Seriously. <sighs> anyway, animation was fluid, the jokes were funny, and the fourth wall breaking galore. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one, and I don't think I'll be doing any more this year, so end of series for me as well. Thanks for watching, and until next time, see you around. Ta-ta!